Google is out with the January search trends. Welcome back to Textonation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from Google is trends expert Sarah Armstrong. Hi, Sarah. Hello. Thank you for having me. Great to see you again. And here we are at the end of the first month of 2023 already, if you can believe it. Um, and I want to explain a little bit, first of all, or have you explain the search trends reports. We're not so much focused on the hard news stuff that's out there, of which there is always a lot, right? Right. So people come to Google every day to get that information on the top news stories of the day. We certainly see that every single day in the trends. And anyone can go check out what's top trending today, yesterday at google.com slash trends. What I have for you today are some of those more fun, light, entertainment, pop culture, weird news trends that we don't always get to peek at. And what are the trends that led the way then in, in search on Google in those categories? Yeah, so for entertainment, we had the Golden Globes this month. Prince Harry released his memoir. We also saw some of those air travel frustrations that people experienced in December that carried over into January. Sports were top of mind. And then it's Girl Scout cookie season, which I'm excited about. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk about what some of the results are here in the, with the trends. Uh, first of all, in entertainment, you mentioned you had, we had the Golden Globes. We also had the Oscar nominations, right? Yes, Oscar nominations 2023 is definitely spiking. I'm so excited for the Oscars and to see who's top trending there. For the Golden Globes, that was the 10th. We saw so much interest in Jennifer Coolidge. She was by far the most searched winner, the most searched acceptance speech. I watched her speech. It was absolutely hilarious. Moving on in, in pop culture, um, Prince Harry is, uh, is still trending Absolutely. He really spiked in search interest this month. What I thought was funny is Harry Styles usually has more search interest, but now Prince Harry has eclipsed him by six times in the trend. So lots of interest in his memoir. People had different questions about some of the words he used in the mem memoir because they're British. Americans weren't quite familiar with it, but it's definitely the top trending book we're seeing. You mentioned air travel. It was a, a spike with people concerned about uh, getting from here to there, I guess. What's going on? Yeah, if you might remember those wild delays back during the holidays, those really continued into January. And it looks like there's some distrust among the passengers because one of the top searches we saw this month were, is air travel back to normal? People were searching for delays far more than cancellations, which I thought was interesting. And one of the top questions was, how long does a flight have to be delayed before you get compensated for it? Interesting. <laughs> so moving on in sports, uh, lots going on. Obviously, there always seems to be. What were what were some of the top search trends? Football was the big sports story this month, both college football and the NFL playoffs. Folks are very excited for the Super Bowl. We're already seeing that interest. And so the biggest matchup in the divisional, divisional rounds, the Eagles versus the Giants, folks were super excited about. And now we're seeing the Eagles take it all the way to the Super Bowl. So I'm expecting more research interest there. And of course, they'll be playing Kansas City. Do, do, will we be looking at which city is generating the most, uh, most search trends? We absolutely will. We'll see which states have the biggest interest in the game. I'm sure everybody will be tuning in, but those uh, Midwestern folks seem to be very excited about Kansas City when we look at the map. The West Coast, of course, San Francisco 49ers were the folks that they were looking for. I was rooting for them being from California originally, so now I have to pick who to root for. Right. Well, that's a dilemma most people have to face because their team... <laughs> Their teams are not in it, right? But And you'll be looking at the commercials, too, if, if memory serves me correct, right? We absolutely will. So we love to, every year, look at those top-performing Super Bowl ads. I secretly am more excited about the ads in the halftime show, not being super into sports myself. But yes, we look at those top ads, top trends that people were searching during the game, what questions people asked about the players. Rihanna's performing this year, so it should be pretty exciting. In the odd news category, jury duty was a trending search. Tell me about that. 
Right. We saw jury duty really spiking this month, which is odd because that seems kind of consistent month to month, except for now. Looked into it a little bit. There was this trending story where a woman tried to skip jury duty and a judge ordered her to write a 30 page essay as her punishment, which sounds very high school. It's a little bit funny. But we looked at those top questions about jury duty and how to get out of jury duty is the top one. And in food, you talked already a little bit, Girl Scout cookies? It's Girl Scout cookie season. They start selling in January. So we always see a big spike in interest around this time. I think it's funny that it coincides with people making those healthy New Year's resolutions. And then the Girl Scouts come out with their cookies. But Thin Mint is the most popular cookie Overall, I definitely relate to that. That's my favorite. But this year, Raspberry Rally, we're seeing a lot of interest in. That's their newest cookie. Very interesting. So for more info, where can folks go to for more on this? You can go to google.com slash trends. Sarah Armstrong, thank you again for spending time with us. Thank you so much.